What's going on everybody, Robles Jr. here, and today we're gonna cover the latest update to UDCD. And this is a plugin that allows us to stream whatever's going on on our Vita to our streaming application on our PC, whether it's Streamlabs OBS or regular OBS or whatever you're using to stream your gameplay or whatever. So right now I am using Streamlabs OBS and it's working just fine. It's one of the first plugins I really wanted to get installed on my Vita just because it's allows me to record my content easier and that way it's just more efficient and you don't have to see my face all the time. So looking at the notes here, we finally can achieve 60 frames per second at full resolution, which is amazing. And one of the games I wanted to demo is Rayman Origins. And that's one of my favorite games that looks so beautiful on my uh, PS Vita 1000. And it's unfortunate that I can't stream that full resolution or the frames through the plugin here, but hopefully this update will do us justice on the game. So here is a little bit of gameplay before we do the update. And what I'm streaming right now, what you're seeing right now, it just doesn't look as good as what I'm seeing on my Vita. And it looks awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and update this guy. And the best way to install this update is through Auto Plugin 2. If you don't have this application, I suggest you downloading it right away because once you're connected to Wi Fi, once you run Auto Plugin, it will update to the latest version and also update all your plugins that are installed on your Vita. So let's take a look and see what we can do here. So we have a new Auto Plugin 2 version 1.05 update and it says reverted changes and fixed bugs in the version 1.04 add option reset config.txt and URL tie in the section extras. So let's press X and accept this update. Very easy to update your auto plugins. You just have to make sure your Wi-Fi connection is enabled. 9.25 megabytes, perfect. There we go, now it's unpacking the VPK. Now it takes us right back into the application. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is go into Vita plugins and we want to check for plugin updates. Now, unfortunately, I already hit this and it had the number nine. So I had nine updates to go and you just wanna hit X and it'll start updating all of your plugins. And you should see, there it is, UDCD. Perfect, version 1.5. And you'll see all the updates there. And here is UDCD by Zerpy, version 1.5, perfect. If you want to install this plugin, I do have a video on how to install it properly. And I have a whole walkthrough video on how to do that and I'll leave that link in the description down below for you. So once we have our plugins updated, what we wanna do is reset our system. And I'm just gonna go into Vita Shell. Let's press start and we want to reboot. And that way, all of our changes will be reflected after the reboot here. All right, so here we are back at the main screen and don't really see a difference here but I'd like to play Raymond Origins and see if we did get that nice resolution update. I apologize for all the echo in the background. I'm still working in my room trying to figure out uh, setting up the sound panels. That way it's not so echoey in here, like that. All right. 
It looks to be the same to me. But we always want to update our plugins just to be sure. For the most part, I really don't see a difference. Perhaps in another game we all might see it, but uh, here on Raymond Origins, I don't see that the uh, Vita is running very smooth. It almost looks like 75 frames or something crazy like that. And I'm just not seeing that nice smooth gameplay on my stream here, which is no big deal as long as it's working, right? So that is how you update your plugin, the UDCD plugin, and also your auto plugins too. Let's check out auto plugin one to make sure if you don't have auto plugins too, you can always check auto plugin, the original auto plugin one. Let's go into plugins for Vita and check for plugin updates. All plugins are up to date. So if you do have this version, you still can update through this app, no problem. So any questions, as always, guys, leave them down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. We're almost at 11,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. We're going to make it. We're almost there. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.